Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about soda dispenser machine. In our previous video we have explained or we have seen clearly about the RTL design process. So without wasting time I am just moving to the soda dispenser machine. So we are going to create a processor. So first thing is, briefly I can explain you, we have to capture the behavior by using high level state machine. After that, a data path has to be created and then a controller has to be created, connecting the controller with the data path. And then you will be converting the high level finite state machine into the finite state machine. So this is how the processor is going to be executed or implemented. So the first processor or the first case study is nothing but the soda dispensing machine. So consider capturing the behavior of a processor of a custom processor for a soda machine dispenser that dispenses a soda when enough money has been deposited into a machine. Means it is nothing but a vending machine. Okay, what type of vending machine? A soda vending machine. When enough money is being inserted or deposited into my machine, my machine or the processor has to return back the soda. This is the concept. So now how I am going to implement this by using the RTL logic. I am giving money and the machine is going to give me a soda. A simple concept. Now we shall see or we shall move into the implementation. So now the simple diagram I have given, so soda dispenser processor. There are two inputs of eight bits each, which is S and A. And there are a single bit inputs, which is C and D. Now C, which is a bit input, and that is nothing but a when one is, or when a coin is deposited. When I am inserting a coin or when I am depositing my coin, the particular C input or the C signal will be turned on or a 1 will be indicated to my processor means the coin has been accepted. And, and then what is A? A is nothing but what is the value of the deposited coin that will be given through the value of A. And then what is yes? It is the 8-bit inputs which is having the cost of the soda. See, I am giving a signal which is the coin has been inserted or not. And what is the value of the coin? And what is the value of the soda? Everything is set as the input to my processor. And what is the only one output? I have to do the dispensing operation. So whenever my D signal is equal to 1, it means the deposited coin becomes equal to the cost of my soda or it is more than the cost of the soda only at that case the d will be equal to one so what are the inputs of my soda dispenser processor the coin has to be inserted and what is the value of that cash which is deposited and what is the value of the soda based on this the particular output operation called dispense operation will be done okay so now if my sum s is equal to 50 that is the value of soda is 50 at first time I may give a coin that will be indicated with a 1 and then the value of 25 rupees is the value that is A will be having that 25 rupees means the coin that I am giving is 25 rupees. Don't think that the coin that is no 25 rupees. Okay. For example, just assume that I am giving a money and that money is 25 rupees and the 25 rupees will be sent into the dispenser. Does the value of the soda and the value that I have given will be the same? No. So will I get the soda? No. So that will be represented with a zero. Again, I have to insert another coin and in that particular say, situation, what is going to happen? The previous cash is inside the machine. So that 25 rupees must be added with the newer value of the money that I am deposited. For example, consider I am again giving 25 rupees. So what is this 25 rupees plus 25 rupees that will be stored, that will be giving a value of 50 rupees. Now check whether the value of the soda and the value of the money is the same. Yes, in such cases, my D is equal to 1 or the dispense operation has to be equal to 1. So this is a simple uh, brief explanation regarding your soda dispenser processor. We shall move further. The first step is we have to capture the high level state machine. So how I can capture the high level state machine? So this thing we have completely seen in our previous video. So I may move a little bit faster. If you have still doubt in the capturing of this high level state machine, go to the previous video and check with the high level state machine. 
So what does this? You will be having certain inputs named as C, which is a single bit input, and A and S being the eight bits, and there is an output uh, which is a single bit that is for dispensing. And I'm having a local register, and the register is storing an eight bit. That register has been named as total. Why to add the data that I am or the money that I am being depositing? So high level state machine means there is various bits, and there are various states. Okay, now we are declaring a local register named TOT, and there are initial state. So now I am in the initial state. In my initial state, I must make sure my dispense is equal to zero, and the register named total is equal to zero. Okay, and after that, I am moving to the wait state. Okay, initially everything will be zero, so I have to go to another state which is called the wait state. So in that wait stage, I have to wait for my coin. If I see my coin, what should I do? I have to go to the next state, which is called as add state, because only then I can add the value of the cash, right? So in that case, I am going to when I am in the add state, I am going to update my total value. Means the total value, the previous thing is zero. Now this zero has to be added with the new value of the cash that I have deposited. So that data will be added and it will be stored in the total register, and I have to go back to the wait state. Why am I waiting? Going to the wait state. In that wait state, I will be waiting and I will be checking or I will be comparing my value of soda with the value of the cash that I have deposited. So, if my total value is more than or equal to my the value of soda s, I have to go to the dispense state. If not, I will be in the same state. Okay, that is given as c bar. Which is total value? If it is less than yes, I will be saying. See, I am not giving the name. See, if you think C and C bar are not a complement version, it is a name of the signal. Okay, so if coin is there, move to the next state. Okay, and I am having another signal in that particular wait state. If that particular value is less than S, stay in that state because I can't dispense my soda. And again, I will be in a waiting state. I will be waiting for my cash to come. If it comes, I will go to the add state. In that, the adding operation will be done. Or else, again, I will be in the waiting state. If it becomes more, that is, my total becomes more, I will move on to the dispense state. In my dispense state, I will just dispense my soda by making the D is equal to one, and I will again go back to the initial state. Okay, this is called as a capturing the behavior through the high-level state machine. And the next step is we have to create a data path. Means now in the finite state, in the high-level state machine, what are the operation that has been done? The thing is. Add addition operation has been done inside your total register. The value of the cash has been added. So addition operation is done, and I am having an eight bit adder. So for performing an addition, I need an eight bit eight bit adder. And then inside the data path, what I can add? I need to compare whether the value of soda and the value of the cash are the same or it is less. So for that, I can have a comparator, and then I need to store my data. The of the cash that I have deposited inside a register called total, so I am having a total register. So now there are three components inside my data path. So I need a total register. I need an eight bit comparator to compare S and A, and I need an eight bit adder too for adding or to perform the addition operation of total with the A value that has been deposited. After that, what I need? I need to wire all the components as needed, and then. I have to create certain control inputs and outputs, and I'm giving them names. So, what are the control inputs and outputs I'm giving? See, this total register is having two controls, which is load as well as clear. Clear in the sense, I will make my clear signal to be high. Means initially, I want initial state. I want my total is equal to zero. So, there is a signal called as total clear. When the clear signal is equal to one, my register data or the register total will be made equal to zero, and then my total register must accept the data from my adder to perform the addition operation when the load signal is being given. So when the load signal is being given, the total register will start to load the data and for performing the addition operation. So addition is having the data from the total register. As well as the A value, that both will be added in the, which is total is equal to total plus A. So total value and A is being added. And again, this 
total must be compared with s so s and this total value will be compared and will be given into the comparator and there is a if it is less than okay there is a question that comes if my total is less than the value of soda what i must do i must stay in the wait state so for that i have to give a control signal which is an output which is low, total register if it is less than the soda so it is less than the soda so i will be saying you go and wait in my wait state so now i have created a data path i have inserted the components that has been needed total register and a comparator and an adder and at the same time i have mentioned the control signals also and next step is i have to connect my data path to the controller so what is the data path that we have seen so i have just drawn that on the side so it will be inside s and a being the input and inside there will be a total register and a comparator and an adder and the outputs are nothing but there will be a load signal coming from the controller when the load signal will be activated when a coin is coming the load signal will be activated so i must connect the controller with the data path such a way the external input of my controller is the c signal so when the coin is coming c will be turned on at that time my total id will be activated so go and load the total register that information will be given to the data path and the a value will be accepted and then at the same time i have to make sure that the total register must be cleared so go and clear the total register because i have accepted the value of c so when c becomes one both the signal total load as well as clear will be activated and then after doing the operation the controller i mean after doing the operation inside your data path the data path is going to say my the controller that the total that has been received is less than the soda value in such cases my dispense signal is going to be zero if not it will be one so that our controller's input i have explained which is c as well as the input from the data path comparator output which is named as total less than yes and the controller's output is nothing but d and the output to data path to load and clear the total registers so this is what the next step we have just connected to your data path and by mentioning when a coin is coming i must say that load and clear the data at the same time perform the operation using s and a and the data path will say the data is less than the soda so the controller will give the data as zero to my dispense signal and next step. so this is all about the clear cut idea about the soda dispensing machine so so far we have completed capturing the high level state behavior and then what we did we created a data path okay so first thing is we have captured the high level state machine and next we have proceeded to creation of data path and then the data path is being connected to the controller now what will be the next step that we will see in our next video i hope you understood the video thank you